starting late. I'm waiting to get one of the guys that can't make it tonight on the phone. If we get them on phone and they can vote, that's viable, isn't it? We've done that before, I know, with other zoning meetings and with other meetings that I've been to. So um, can we start without them as long as they come in before we make yeah, any? Yeah, making any decisions. I'm All right. I'll get through the minutes of the last meeting and then. Uh, did anybody want to be introduced to the new people here tonight, or Amanda? Steve Peterson and uh, concerned landowner from Tama County. Thank you. Uh, we've got an agenda in front of us. Let's call the meeting to order. I'm the temp temporary chairperson sitting in until we get our crap together, <laughs> for lack of a better word, until we get uh, another appointment after we have our new supervisors. Morning, I believe after the first of the year. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. And this is Wade Mitchell. Him and I have been coming to these meetings very faithfully and, and uh, Darren was here at the first one we had and he hasn't been able to make it back. And like I said, Craig's loading hogs. He said we probably don't want to hear the words he's using while he's loading a semi load of hogs and Darren is in the comment and I'm hoping he'll call me back. Uh, let's start out with a Pledge of Allegiance, please. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So we're going to officially call the meeting to order. I'll read through the last, last meeting's minutes. Zoning meeting on 10-10 of 22 at 6.30. Zoning members present were Wade Mitchell and Doug DeVorek. Absent were Darren Thiessen and Craig Sash. Meeting was open with the Pledge of Allegiance. The meeting was postponed one week because of a publishing error. 25 members of the public were present. As there was not enough zoning members for a quorum, no votes were taken. Discussion began with turban setbacks. Worth County setback was discussed. Topic of total turban height, including blade extension, repowering, reissuing permits, and property lines or dwelling lines were topics of discussion. Grundy County is in the process of updating their wind ordinance with a factor of five setback possible. Public comment on setback being at property lines as to not restrict any future buildings or tree planting was a topic of discussion. Participating landowners may waive the setbacks on their own property if desired. Manufacturer safety manuals should be available to the public. Worth County Ordinance is 36 pages long. Tama County's present, present ordinance is only six pages long. Expiration dates on conditional use permits need to be added. Discontinuation or decommissioning needs to be present at the time of building and construction, not 15 years later. Many topics of strengthening or putting some teeth in it are, are needed. The next meeting and a possible public meeting are to be on the next meeting's agenda. Meeting closed at 8.05 p.m. Any questions or corrections or comments? Sounds good to me. Wade, do you want to approve the minutes as they were read? Move to approve the minutes as written. I think I can second it. I can't make a motion, but I can second. All in favor, aye. 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 I'm going to make a few comments before we get into our uh, moratorium subject. If we uh, decide to, I'll try to call it. If we go ahead and decide, I can't do two things at once. I'm a bohemian. It's not that bad, man. It is. It's hard. Now I can have an auger running, and I can run across the yard and feed the cattle and listen to it. Without 
collective multitasking. <laughs> Yeah, please. Do something besides multitask. Maybe try texting. You mean attempt? I did try texting, yeah. If either Craig or Darren calls, put them on speakerphone. Please. What we've got on our agenda tonight is to, excuse me, once again put out a Possible motion for a six-month moratorium on any new industrial wind project, <laughs> and if if and uh, approve that if we have our votes here for a quorum, bring that to vote, and then also the same with the not the same a 12-month moratorium on solar industrial solar projects because we just feel that we need to give ourselves time to get through one thing before we tackle another. And since there have been some county landowners already been approached by solar people, I think we need to take a lesson from Lynn County. I believe they approved, the Board of Supervisors approved some solar projects over there, industrial solar, and now they're getting sued. The Board of Supervisors are there, they're putting it on hold, and they've got problems too. And then if we get this far, I want to discuss possible dates to set public hearing for this industrial wind. I had a question for you, Laura, if we get that far. Can we have a public hearing on both a six-month moratorium on wind and a 12-month moratorium on solar on the same night? If we can have them on the same night, we kind of win. Separately. Like one at 7 and one at 7.15. Since we're not getting a response from our other members yet, what do my initial thought was on on having a public hearing? That's the way the law is set up. We have to have it on an agenda that we're going to talk about a public hearing, and then we have to approve it. Then we have to have it, and we got to have at least two and possibly three. Laura, is that right? And if we get to that point tonight, my thought is, do my question for Wade and some of you folks here that are here to listen and offer insight, do we really want to have a hearing before the holidays, the first one, knowing full well that we're going to have a new supervisor in after the first of the year that might might change the attitude a little bit of the supervisor. It may, remains to be seen. Or and do we, you know, start our hearing in January, and then have another one a little later in January after the holidays when things have slowed down a little bit. Everybody's hopefully done with harvest. And, or do we plunge ahead and try to have one here as soon as possible before the holidays? I think you could have your public hearing but maybe you could decide whether to recommend it to the supervisors before or after the new supervisor. Because is it? I think it's only one, isn't it, for these guys? I think the supervisors is three. These guys is only one or two, I think, for zoning, I think correct? They have, they have to have at least two. <coughs> is it two? I think three was some of the minutes in the past. Mm -hmm. They actually had three in the year today. There was a subject that they had three. For days. zoning, not for supervisors. Right. But I. I believe what happens is if they don't have, if the public doesn't show up too much, mm -hmm. they can wait. Until they can wait. Yeah. Okay. Depends on the turnout. I'm yeah. Just yeah. How many yeah. There's not a hearing. lot of discussion. I'd say with the scheduling and everything, just try to at least get the first one in yeah. as soon as you can. So that's right. You'll probably only get one or two in before the holidays. Because you, so you've got to do the... the but, we won't even board board show up. but if we don't have another board member call right. tonight, we can't get to that point. That's yeah, the exactly. sad truth. Or how un inconvenient truth or whatever you want to call it. Hey, you're here. Can we put you on speakerphone? Okay. Good. All right. 
Thank you, Darren, for joining us. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, now you can officially start your meeting. All right, we're going to officially start our meeting. We approved our previous minutes. I had a few remarks about uh, what we're going to do tonight, and we're going to start out with a possible motion for a six-month moratorium on any new industrial wind projects, and I'm asking for a motion to approve that. To, I'm asking for the motion, I guess, is what I should yeah, say. I, I move to approve a six-month moratorium on any new industrial wind projects in Pima County. Did you hear that, Darren? Yeah, I can hear it. Do you, do you care to second? Is that the yeah, second? Yeah, I can call it out second. All right, we've got Darren down as a second. Thank you. Is there any further discussion about a six-month moratorium on any new industrial wind projects in Tama County? Yeah, yeah, would, it'd be okay if we have like some discussion. I, I believe they need to bring us to a vote first. Oh, the discussion should <coughs> be before the vote? Discussion should be before the vote. Okay, but, let's but do this. I think this let's discussion should be only from I the board members. Right right this, is, this is an official Zoning, zoning meeting, meeting, so public comment is not actually a necessity. Mm -hmm. That's what the public hearing is for, I believe. If and you, that if you would be me. We have to decide that yet. That will be. It will oh, be. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Probably before Thanksgiving, yeah. we hope. Technically, public discussion is up to them. They can take a vote. Under Chapter yeah. 21, though, there has to be public input. Well, yeah. it's at the yes, hearing. That would be at the public hearing. But at the actual zoning meeting, it is not a necessity. That's what I, that's what I would happens. disagree with that, but uh, all of Well, that. if you have the, the proof for that, go ahead and then okay, yeah, sure. uh, I'll, I'll forward it, it fully. Or maybe at the end, you could take their public yeah. comments after it's done. Maybe put it at the end if you guys would like to. It's just that public input prior to a vote. Okay, See, did, we, you, did you understand the vote that was being brought forward? You are voting on whether or not to oppose a moratorium. If the answer is yes. Please, please reword. Motion to approve a six month moratorium on any new industrial wind projects in Tama County. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay, so it's a new industrial wind project, not current industrial Right. Wind okay, fine. Okay, so. Are right, we, okay, I, I, mean, okay. I think I did misunderstand. Okay, All so right. that's, that's are we good? Point. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm actually a little bit confused because we're in a public hearing, or public meeting right now. This right. is... Yes, but the business part of it is between, between the, the zoning the members. Yep. And, I and if you would have been here at the last meeting or two that we've had, there was a lot of go back and forth I public, and we, yeah. we appreciate that. And we can still get to that later on this evening. Yeah, no, we're not trying to be complicated. I think I misunderstood. Okay, what was that's going why on. I, I wanted to explain. Yeah. Okay. So... Motion's been made and seconded to approve the six month moratorium on any new industrial wind projects, new industrial wind projects in Tama County. All in favor say aye. 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 You there, Darren? Yeah, I'm here. Do you say aye or nay? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you. Now, we're going to jump right into whether we want to have a 12-month moratorium on any industrial solar projects, industrial solar projects. I'm, I move to approve a 12-month moratorium on any industrial solar projects in Tama County. Were you able to hear that, Darren? That's a 12-month moratorium on industrial solar. Do you care to second that motion or not? this time. What was that? That'd be okay, he said. Well, that's an aye. We're lucky he's able to do this. So it's been approved, motion's been approved and seconded to have a 12-month moratorium on an industrial solar project. Any discussion between the three of us on this? Any more discussion? Wait. No, but just that it, it'll give us time because we'll go through the wind first. All right. And get that, get a good. We don't want to get bombarded as a, as a zoning commission. Well, we want to do a good job. We want to do it right. 
the first All time. Favor. All in favor, say aye. 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 He's a he aye. Motion carried. Now, Darren, we need to set a public hearing on these two motions. These two moratoriums that we're approving tonight. We need to set a public hearing and Laura, if you can help me, what's the soonest we can do if we got a hold of them tomorrow? Okay. The 14. Monday after Thanksgiving. Yeah, 10 to 20 days. 10 to 20. We could do it the 28th or the 5th. And heaven forbid that we go into deer hunting because that's a national holiday in Iowa. <laughs> 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 that's deer hunting. No, we're, I'm looking at the 28th or 29th or 30th of November. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. The week after that would be deer hunting. The right, right. Yes. Opening weekend of December. Always. That Has been. Nice. You two folks back there, or, or either one at the end of November work for you folks for that public hearing, the 28th, 29th, or, 28th or 29th or 30th. That's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right after the Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving holiday. Depends on if you're hunting. <laughs> no, oh, you got a weekend. Where, 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 you guys, where, you, where are you guys from? Where are you guys from? Uh, originally from South Dakota. Oh, okay. Now, we're originally from Darren, do you have an opinion on that public hearing? Is there a chance you could make it the last three days of November, one of those nights? No opinion, yeah, because you don't know if you're going to be done yet, do you? Can we bring him in on phone again at the public hearing? Yes, we can do that. And maybe Craig won't be sorting hogs that night either. Wade, what do you think? Nice after the holidays, but we kind of need to move forward too. To get one of them. Holding them up. Yeah. Andrew, my personal secretary, do we have anything on any of those three nights that you're aware of back at home on the calendar? Your calendar will be clear. <laughs> yes, Madam Secretary. <laughs> I don't believe we do. I don't think so either. Yeah, it's just rescheduled. We're having our Thanksgiving before we get together on that Sunday, but that's not Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Does anyone here have a preference of Monday or Tuesday? I'd say maybe Tuesday, just because Cyber Monday, there might be people shopping or coming oh, back right. from holidays. Oh, so. oh, yeah. But now it's like Cyber Week, so people can shop whenever they want. <coughs> I'm sure we will clear our calendars for Monday if you pick Monday, though. Tuesday work for you folks in the back? If we have a Tuesday the 29th? Yeah, that's fine. And what time? It's all right, seven, right? Yeah, try seven o'clock. We need a motion. For, real quick, for a public hearing, do you want earlier? There could be a lot. In case there's a lot of people there. There could be a lot of well, comments potentially, but that's up to you guys. Six thirty works. Unless the last few meetings you had. Six thirty. I wouldn't have made six thirty tonight because the cows got out. Yeah. <laughs> well, the we point. can stay all night too. So I guess it, whatever works best for you three. If, if seven's better, do it and just kind of set a time limit of whatever your three to five minutes, you know, for each person and get a yes. list. And we will, we will like that. at a public hearing, per usual, have a time frame. We will figure out how to take um, comments in order. There will be a time frame so that we're not there all night long because people do have to go get up and go to work. And it's just fairer to the public. Right, everybody gets a chance to speak that way. So suggestion is everybody has their topics ready for public speaking. Laura, are you familiar with it? Is it three to five minutes reasonable? For yeah, public? three to five minutes I think is reasonable. I think the school board, I think we have three minutes. And, you know, when we had yes. going through COVID, there were, oh, God, there was over 15 or 20 people that spoke on those three, three minutes. 
And then there were several that we had to read, or the superintendent read, the people that weren't present but wanted their comments heard. And I do believe that night most people actually got their comments in under. Yes, under we didn't have to cut anybody yeah. off. Three minutes seems to be okay. Um, I think there can be, I mean, there can be a okay three minute warning wrapped up right. with thirty more seconds. We'll figure it out. Yeah. You still there, Darren? We will try to be yeah, sure. We're going to have one more motion, I'm hoping. If uh, anyone, I'd entertain a motion for a public hearing on the 29th of November at 6.30 p.m. Can I interject? Yes. Sure. We can set more than one public hearing. We can set it for two days. We can do it, uh, I mean, we could do a set of both, all three now. Even if we go into January? Wow, you got a calendar there that flips the over. Thing is on the other thing is, if you're going to do them like three days in a row or three weeks in a row. Oh. Let's, let's do one down for sure because we could lose the other. Right. Yeah. Do one, that's yeah, or is there a reason, like, why not yeah. do all of them and then you can recommend it to the new supervisor in January, too? I mean, you could just set them all now if you wanted. I'd rather do one at a time and see what the turnout is that first night. Yeah. And then we got a feel for well, what we're up to. I'll move it on the 29th. 29th. Six at six thirty. We have our first public meeting. Wade made a Wade moved that we have our per, first public hearing on these moratoriums, November 29th. That's a Tuesday at six thirty p.m. Darren. Um, I'd entertain a second if you're so interested, so involved, inclined. Yeah, I second it. All right. So it's been moved and seconded to have a public hearing on the industrial winds and. Solar moratoriums on the 29th of November at 6.30 p.m. All in favor say aye, the three of us. Aye. If aye. aye, okay, no names, all right. Doug, would you do the wind first and then the solar later? So do you want to say like solar at a later time that night or just one after the other? We'll figure it out when we get there. Okay. I would say we'll spend as much time on the wind as people want to spend on it and then we'll hopefully we'll have time for the solar. Just wait and see how it turns out. If people want to combine their comments into their three minutes, would that work? If they could get it done in three minutes, I suppose. Yep. And then once once those comments are done, you go into the solar. Because Laura was just saying we'd have to separate it where your comments would only be on solar, and then we'd go into the wind or vice versa. You decide whether you do need to separate the comments. You need to set a time for one day. So do I need, we need to do that tonight, you think? We better. We oh, yeah. Do them both on the same night. All right, we need to do them separate times. Comes to my attention, our attention. Is half an hour long enough? 45 minutes? 6.30 to 7.15? No. 7.30? No. What do you yeah. think? Oh, no. Hour? Yeah. Lost. Awesome. Maybe we're going to do, yeah. Well, at least we got that. One Motion hour. down. Is there a proposed solar, industrial solar, or is there a current one? Current one now. I mean, I, I don't know. I wasn't aware of it. I don't think anybody knows. For sure. I think that's what the moratorium is for, right? <laughs> for any new, stop any new. I believe there is. Is there a current one? Yeah. I haven't heard any. I mean, I, it's, there's solar there's that really does. About two lines. Huh? I, I believe there's about two lines. Um, I'm not positive on that. So of course. Uh, a current project, I mean. No, no, current project. Is that what you were asking? Yeah, yeah. current project. Yeah, current project. I, I don't going forward there's now. been interest, okay. but there's no been. current project yeah. Yeah. that we are aware of. Okay. Is anybody else aware of it? Yeah. Amanda would know, probably. No. Yeah, but the, it's interest, but not an actual project. In the Nothing's approved. Oh, they they, oh, okay. Yeah, then, it's, yeah. then it is approved. They're going to put some dollars on that. Project so far, yeah. You're with Salt Creek One, correct? Yes. And Salt, Salt, Creek. Salt Creek One has been through the conditional use permit process, has it not? Right. On phase, phase one, I believe. On phase one of it, is that right. correct? And building permits, too, right? And your building permits. So that is a, that's a go, clear to go, isn't it? Yeah, according to the current. But we don't have any solar that I'm aware of. Right. 
head, right? That's the solar. Yes. We should probably try to get Graham back on the phone so we can go ahead and. Well, I want to know what we're going to do before we get him back on the phone. So for you mean how, how maybe, long? Maybe we should. Hmm. Well, you heard the case, actually. I apologize for the interrupt. If there's contracts, that means they have a project. What, for solar there is? Yes. Contracts? Is that so right? Not through them, it's through somebody else. Someone right. else. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but there is <coughs> a contract me. out there, which means there is a project being proposed. Being proposed. It means they're ready to spend money on it. Though. Correct. That's, yeah. Which means that you need to they probably get our need to go ahead and act together. Started. Wait for the wind. If you did an hour at a three-minute limit and a hard three minutes, that would only be about... 20 people. Right. If they had the full hour. Yeah, if you're going to want longer for wind and shorter for solar, probably. I, I believe think. so because you don't have, you have, the wind is current and a current topic. The solar is a proposed topic that is coming. So I would think. Would you go 6.30 to 8 on the wind? Do you think that's too long? No. And then do the solar after? If it happened to be too long, you could take a recess, but I don't think it'll be too long. Can you start it earlier if it gets done? That'd be a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Can we block the time? Yeah, can you tell us the time? We have to sit for the Yeah. Mm -hmm. One comment I want to make here, Laura, correct me if I'm wrong. We as a zoning board can have these public hearings, we can present them to the, we need to present them to the supervisors, do we not, that we're going to have the public hearings, or don't we? You need to notify them that they're doing it. That we're, that we're having it, so we need to let them know before the 28th, or 9th, I mean, mm -hmm. which could be Monday the 28th, is that, or the 21st, next Monday, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. But the Board of Supervisors still have the authority to impose the moratorium, am I not? Right. Correct. Only they are the so I want you folks to understand that we as a zoning board rec recommend these zoning these uh, moratoriums so that we would have time to update our ordinances. The board of supervisors still have to approve. That's why I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves until we get into January and we have a new supervisor. always split your days and do wind one day and solar another if you're only you know what I mean if you needed to just to make sure you have enough time the thing but is we've got the motion on the motion in the minutes already that we do are going to do wind solar on the 29th unless we decide to change it I'd have to redo their motion then split it up was it actually a decision to do wind and solar or did it the first motion was just wind first motion was wind they did them separately they did too okay I was just thinking Yeah, you can always um, uh, strike the motion from the minutes and amend it if we want to. Mm -hmm. But what do we want to do, Wade? Do we want to just do win that first night? I, you know, I we, think I, we'd have no idea how late that could be. Right. Could. Let's just do win that first night. And then night, you'd right? have people showing up for solar. and then They never get a chance to say yeah. anything. That wouldn't be fair to the so public. Yeah, just, if we have one win, then that, that would give us some edge. And if we have, if it wasn't solar, like you said, we had a step. Yeah, we'll strike the. So we want to strike the motion that set the public hearing for both wind and solar and just have it set for just wind on the 29th. bring that to the vote. Well, the, the first one that we did approve, did we? We did do wind. Both. Did we not? Well, the first one we, that we approved was just wind. Yes. Right, the first one. Okay. We had a vote to approve the moratorium on new industrial wind. All in favor of it, 717. And then there was another one for solar. solar. And all in, in favor of that. But have we done the public hearing? You need to read. Now, the, the public hearing is what you need to redo. Right. And have that, if right. you choose, you need to redo that and have it strictly on wind. I'll see if I can get Darren back. 
stop, we'll try crash. Maybe we'll hear some new profanity. Or he's blowing the hog. Have you heard the episode? Have you heard it all? You worked in the FSA office long enough. You've heard it all. Yeah. Well, I, almost did, I almost did it this morning, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Greg, if you can give us a give me a call back, please. ASAP. 